Well, we're down here at the marina, and uh, there's the best looking girl in the city, Olivia. And uh, we're just a uh, beautiful Sunday afternoon. We're getting ready to leave for Thunder Bay on uh, Tuesday. But one of the things we're doing today is getting that canoe right up on top of the uh, car we're taking. And we want to get some really good pictures of this canoe uh, for the main reason of uh, insurance. If anything goes wrong, we do have insurance. And if we have to replace this four and a half, five thousand dollar piece of equipment, uh, we want to be able to show to the insurance company exactly what it is that we've gone off with, whether it's stolen or broken. This is, uh, I believe they call this a C2. Is this a pro boat? What do they call it? Yeah. What, what do they call this, Ken? What is it? A pro boat? A C1? A it's a P3. P3. It's a 45 pound Kevlar P3 okay. uh, marathon canoe. Sounds good. And it's the number here. Yeah, I got the number on the other side too. Alright, and we're going to put that on top of the car and then I'll get some photos of it. Oh, I, I should point out that uh, this particular boat right here, I don't know if you can see that, there, there's two of these in this boat and that's for emptying water as you're paddling. There's one right behind uh, that seat and one just in front of the rear seat. So now we just put the cover on it. Well, we're up on top of the roof of the car now. Go around the other side and you'll see the bracket. And the front tied down. We're in the back now. The rear end. And the final piece of the puzzle is the cable, the wire cable, to make sure that somebody that's coming along <coughs> doesn't just decide to take the canoe. I guess if they're determined, they can cut the cable but for the impulse guy. This will be a serious deterrent.